Hey everybody! Welcome back to Art of War EU4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quill, Aruma, and Mathis. Say hello. 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 Hey there. Let's do it. I'm ready. Bring it on. Rebels are annoying. Oh. So, They're Northern Line, what, what is your score? Zero still. Really? Yeah, I'm getting close on uh, military, but still zero. Hmm. I guess we can find out. Uh, score over. Mm. I'm now uh, 21st in the world with a score of 14. Wow! Right. Watch out. I think that's this more is, than uh, you had last like, game. Yeah, let me just revel in this for as long <laughs> as it's gonna last, because I don't expect it to last long. Die, rebel scum. 14th no. diplomatically, so I'm not that far away. When you when you're looking at that overall score though, is that everyone in the world or just the people you know of? Uh, it, um, that's just up in the top right hand corner. I don't know. How do I know? Because like it, when you look in the ledger, you can't see anyone if, unless you know about them. I'm diplomatic rank of 129th. Wow. Mm -hmm. AK zero. <laughs> Sixth military, tenth admin. You have a heavy. I'm 14th in military. Wow, you're how. you're actually uh, you got a head start on me. That's kind of surprising. I'm twenty. Some little backwards. <laughs> little Mex or not Mexican. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> African backwards country, and fourteenth uh, in the world. What? Surely, like Liege is better. <laughs> like a one time yeah, planner it, in it Europe. Might, it might be only people you know, but if Mathis is a hundredth and something, then I would think it includes everyone. It's interesting to consider, though, because I wonder if I'm really 12th diplomatically throughout the whole world. I do have a lot of vassals, but it seems unlikely. It's mm -hmm. true. Compared to Europe, it's... Yeah. I'd be surprised. Or maybe I wouldn't. Because Quill, you are you're a nice guy. I could understand people in France being when they make the, these world rankings every year, being like, he's a pretty good guy, you know. You both go Wait, that that was more French Canadian than French. I need more oh, 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 for the France French. <laughs> I just like to say that we don't all support uh, Quill's <laughs> incredibly uh, racist views on the French people. No, that's all. Their vowels are deeper. I've got this super nasal accent on all the things. There's an entire bowel shift that went on. The entire bowel shift? Gross. Yeah. yeah. That is, yeah, French Canadian, too much poutine. Well, I don't know. If you have too much poutine, there's no bowel shift at all. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what do they got? Oh, oh they have so Canada. much more morale. Hey, man, that one place in Seattle had some pretty good poutine. That I was surprised to see some West Coast American poutine that stacked up. Curds were a little janky. I don't know what was up with those. They've been like freeze dried in <laughs> in Vermont and then shipped across the country, but it was pretty okay. You heard it here, folks. Pretty okay. Yeah. Yep. The Elephant and Castle in Seattle has pretty okay poutine. Ah, uh, that's a good brand though. They, uh, I remember going to the Elephant and Castle in uh, the Rideau Center in Ottawa. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's, that's why. A the Brito Canadian chain, I guess. We this talk elephant about... archer distinctly rides a horse. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talk about poutine on the stream a lot, so people will tweet me pictures sometimes, and sometimes it's just like an aluminum foil like pie tin with like French fries and then shredded cheddar cheese on top, oh, and I gotta no. be like, looks pretty good, man. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say shredded cheese. Yeah, that is the devil. That is a sin. They're like, did I do it right? And I'm like, well, not really. But you know, if it tasted fine, then who cares? Right. I care. <laughs> I care. So oh, you still can't so. see general or admiral ratings in the tooltip. Yeah, I don't know why. It's a little annoying. It is. But you can see little figurine dudes after you win a fight. <laughs> I like that yep. change, man. Like, spears versus guns. Well, I guess that explains it then. 
I get you get guns at level five, right? Military tech five. At least there's a, like Wakandan spears. I'm excited, man. I'm almost at military tech five. I'm super close. As soon as I ticked it to five, it's over. I'm going to war. God, well, actually, no, I'm not. I have 200 manpower. That's a terrible decision. I say I'm still at two, but actually. Oop. Welcome to three. tech level three. Earth ramparts and 0.5 bonus morale. <laughs> oh, just That's in time for the lot. AI. It's a lot of morale. Going from level two to three is nuts. Mm -hmm. Just in time for the AI to try to attack me in Yahor with a minus two straight crossing. What did you call me? Surprise, sucker. I have two maneuver. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, oh. I meant Jomama. Go play your canceled oh. game. Can you uh can you collaborate with uh, your vassals? Like if they don't have enough units to properly do a siege, can you just give them like one? Yeah. Oh, so we just couldn't do it in that thing. Yeah. Total allied number of troops in a province. Whoever is there first controls the siege, but other than that. Fine by me. Let's go, Doc. I know one day I'm going to have to go to war with Yemen because they control so much of the the trade node. Right. And I'd like and to be okay at trade in this season. You want to learn how to do it? Well, I mean, I, I sort of know how, but a lot of my know-how comes basically just go to the trade map. You want all the provinces in one color? If somebody else owns them, take them from them. So that's that's where I am. I'm on step one right now. Mm-hmm. It's pretty sad. Rather than go through their own friendly territory, the AI just walked through Terra Incognita and is getting destroyed by natives. Thank <laughs> you so much. They know how it works. The fun part of fighting in Africa. Yeah. Dismantling Mali back in the day was all about that. <laughs> I don't think that'll be happening this time, though. Thanks to Arumba. Oh no, I'm going to consolidate all this land very quickly. My vassal swarm. I'm like a mini HRE right now. <laughs> I've just got vass vassals all around me and they do all the work and it's fun. I'm hoping the Ottomans kind of take a chunk out of the Mamluks soon. Or maybe I'm hoping they don't, but I want some kind of balance of power to shift there because there's so much good land in Egypt. Like, nobody's ever like, let's go to El Burr for holiday. You know? It's always, let's go to Cairo. Well, it's not always that, but <laughs> at least sometimes it's that. Know, How's where, where are the pyramids? Anybody That's at war right now? Why. They're in Cairo. Or Giza. Is Giza its own province on the map? I don't think so. I, I thought Giza was, like, part of Cairo, but I might be mistaken. Welcome to uh, you have low manpower there. You four videos where we don't know geography. <laughs> You're at war with very low manpower, Quill. I know I am. In before peasant revolt. <laughs> what are you going to declare on him, Mathis? No, I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to war with low manpower, but I don't know if it's worth it. You should do like, it. Like I have what, happens. what? I have twenty four thousand men. They have like, with their allies, probably close, maybe a little bit more than that. But I could. I think I could take them because they're so spread out. I could pick them apart before they could get together. You have the tech level too, right? I'm about to be tech level five. Right. So. Yeah. I got some intense music starting. And they, they're, they're tech level three, so I would just kind of stomp on them. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if I, I only have 288 manpower, so. Jeez. Well, if you can hold off for like 200 years... <laughs> I'll, I'll build up a bunch of transports and send some Ethiopian soldiers over there. You're only like you, five provinces way. away. Yeah, it's not bad. Five provinces, a.k.a. like the whole Indian Ocean. But, you know, five right. provinces. Five, five Indian Ocean provinces. And the Indian Ocean, if I remember correctly, it's one of the smallest oceans. So, we can do it. It's purple. So I can transfer the purple sieges. I'm actually going to boost ability up to zero. I didn't want to spend those points, but I really want an idea. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to split this land between me and my vassal. A little bit for me, a little bit for you. What's everybody's ideas levels like across the board? I can get my first uh, actual idea in the religious ideas group if I want to spend admin points. Ditto. I, I, I can unlock my first group, but I haven't done it yet. Your first idea group is what, tech four? I'm yeah. on tech two. Oh, jeez. Tech two admin. Yeah, it's not good. I'm We're not very smart down here. I'm at a, my admin level right now, I think is three. Yeah. All right. I am now level five military tech. So that's a bonus. So that gave me, that gave me dudes with guns. Pretty sure. I think I keep forgetting about this uh, music DLC is that some of the songs have words. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's very disorienting to just hear some guys start talking. Oh, some of my uh, viewers on Twitter turned me on to a group called Sabaton. It's like a Swedish death metal band that only sings like historical songs about like wars that Sweden had with Russia or different stuff like that. It's amazing. That they have English kinda, versions uh, of their songs too. It's hmm. really good. Oh, and they told me that I have to introduce you, Northern Lion, because there is a song about the lion from the north. Yeah, it's like... Uh... Gustav Adolphus or something. That's exactly who it's yeah. about. It sums up pretty much my total knowledge of Swedish history. Gustav, no, you must know about the Vasa, though. Yeah, That's I was going to say Gustav story. Adolphus, the Vasa, and um, many wars with the number of years that they took to fight in the title. That's right, yeah. They're very creative about naming their wars. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll wait for my manpower to jump up a bit more, then I'll go to war. The hardest part is the fact that they keep having to rename the war while they're fighting it. Yeah, it's, it's the first yeah. year war. The <laughs> one year war. Makes for a lot of paperwork. Mm hmm. All right. I definitely want to grab this coastal province. Let's you know what's really exciting soon. at military tech level four is uh, waiting for sieges to finish. <laughs> oh, are, I know. They are lightning fast. Can almost taste the sarcasm. Almost. <laughs> These three I mean, the sieges, tactics, they've been going the for tactics, like a year, and they're almost in the positives. A year is normal, though. Most sieges take like a year. Yeah, but this, these are at minus 21, minus 42 still. Mm. Yeah, that is boats. pretty bad. Run away. When do you get cannons? It's like level 7 or something, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. Oh, cannons make such a big difference. I mean, there's other things that can help too, but it's mostly the cannons. Do I want to go to war? Oh, I'm so itching to go to war right now. My manpower needs to hurry up. I can't full annex. <laughs> remember, is, you guys remember at the end of the uh, the last campaign we did where you'd get the, the pop-up, excellent year. And I'd say, hey, I just gained 50,000 manpower. I never had that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but you remember me saying it, right? Yeah. 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 I just That's got what... that event. You can never have too much manpower. Gain 387. <laughs> 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 Whoa. One I, would take that. I would take that right now. It's a lot. What? No one's going to turn it down. What happened? Yeah. There's no option to turn it down, so. They added another option for comets, right? In the Art of War DLC. Yeah, there's four. Yeah, there's four, four and they all fucking suck. If the last one now is like, I, yeah, I wish we lived in more enlightened times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the end of uh, EU4's life cycle, it'll be ten, ten choices. <laughs> actually, I think they can't go any further. I've only ever seen four. I think I think that it, there's a limit to the number it can actually have. Oh. They'll they'll patch that out. Right. Probably. Well, that'll be, it'll be the first time they actually update it. That'll be when EU5 starts development. Right. <laughs> You heard it, heard it first, guys. EU5 announced. EU5 before, before Victoria, Victoria 3. Yeah. Before <laughs> EU Rome. I wonder when Hearts of Iron 4 will come out. I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be like March or April at the earliest. We might hear a uh, release date in uh, PDX Con. That's what I was thinking. Is they, they probably wouldn't release it in early January. No. We'd well, have a date by now, I think. Q1, right? That's all we know. Yeah. I'm willing to bet there's going to be EU4 live streams, or how Hoi live streams first. 
Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, too. Yeah, talk about having to learn a whole new game. Yeah. Hearts of Iron 4 oh, is going to be... Me too. So complicated. Still the only game I haven't really groked. I only played it once ish. Accomplished my goal. I played as a Spain and then I played as Republicans brain during the Civil War. And I won that. And then that was it. I was like, okay, I'm done, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no playing uh, Spain in World War II is pretty boring though. They don't really I don't think they do much. Well that's when they were introducing uh Hearts of Iron Four, they're like you could play as like you know, Canada. Well, I guess actually Canada it makes a lot of sense, but um, you could play as really, like really Ar appealing to Argentina right or something like that. And I'm like, uh, probably mostly play as uh, Germany, Russia, France, England, the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, you do have, uh, when you draw battle plans now, apparently, the idea will be that your AI people will follow those plans. You can time them out. Oh, so sweet. then even playing as someone like Canada, you can boss great britain around all right oh, i'm gonna go to war with vagina gar do you think uh about three thousand manpower is enough to sustain this war no <laughs> no you'll be fine what could possibly that, go wrong yeah that sounds like a great idea yeah, have fun damn it three thousand manpower isn't even enough to sustain like the construction of a bridge uh, i don't want to it's like i only gained 228 manpower a month yeah you so should build fun. some more i just built build, like five armor they gotta that. finish yeah the the best structure you can build early game if you have the money is the march because that'll raise your manpower cap by 5,000. Uh, I think I have marches all across. Yeah, I can't build any more march. Earth ramparts, you mean? No, march. Oh, march? Where's those? It's a uh, special building. You can only have one. It needs to be on the border between you and another country. I don't even Plus see it. Oh, but you there need it tech is. For it, don't you? Oh, yeah, you need a tech for it. You don't have technology for this building yet. Yeah, but it's really soon. It's tech eight. And it's <laughs> tech eight. Oh, yeah, tech really five. soon. It's really soon. It is. Really, Yemen? Malwa just unrivaled me and did something else to make me hate them less. I don't know why. Yemen, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Just as the sieges are about to tick up. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Time to go to war. F you. All right, Malaka. This is the do. slowest I have played in so long. <laughs> it's so slow. I cannot believe we got like 350 years into the game on speed two. Oh my god, that took that was so much time. I'm gonna stop there. Only 105 episodes. I don't suppose there's any weird cores here, are there? That's oh, there one are. tenth the episodes uh, of Isaac. It's not that Hara big. something or other. <laughs> yeah, this, these are all short little vacations for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, you, you blew it. You blew it. You blew it. Oh, the, oh shoot. I you did blow it. it. What happened? My can troops. you guys see each other on the map? I can see Mathis and a yeah, little bit see, of Quill. I can see all of Quill and a, what I assume is a little bit of Ethiopia, though it's a big chunk. Hmm. I can see the one run province past Kaffa. Why can you see Kaffa? I don't know. <laughs> it's just you see like a weird little red blob in the middle. Yep. Yep. A, th it's a three province red blob. That's weird. Is that all of Kaffa? Yeah. All right. How far beyond Kaffa do you extend? I literally encapsulate it. Okay. So you're you're big. It's in the middle. Well, it's not in the middle. It's on like the southwestern tip of my country. <clears throat> if I were the United States of America, Kaffa would be. San Diego. So you're you're way bigger than us. Mm, I I feel like I'm geographically larger than you, but I think your provinces might be just smaller size. Might be. Fudge Do I want to go Diplotech four? Is it worth it? Trade power is good, but. I might do it just because I need to wait for my manpower to tick up anyway. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I get split up by rebels. What happened? I, I just took a bunch of land. Oh, okay. Well, you took like this. Is Ligor part of your? Are they your vassal? Yeah, I just fed them a little bit too. Mm, also, they're my march. It, 
Is the robot not working for this one? Or is this just a a data intense <laughs> episode? I think you're just a little bit early. This one's it, I guess <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's just been it's a like lot of stuff that happened. Yeah. yeah. When you wake up two minutes before your alarm goes off. Oh god, I hate that. <laughs> you just you're just like how did that happen? It's it's a recipe for accidentally sleeping in like two hours. Yep. I'll just go to sleep for another forty five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's noon. <laughs> all right, wrap it up. Oh, jeez, all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Mathis says it's time to go, so it's time to go. <laughs> if you enjoyed the episode, uh, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and <clears throat> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.